All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. I'm my boy C Jack over here. C Jack, right? No, C Jack. Okay. <laughs> make sure. And like we always do, we do this for you guys, for the people. Love. We love you. Yeah. So we went to go see <laughs> Ghosts in the Shell. And I'm gonna have to just say. I really don't like anime movies. Fuck period. Get out of here. Why are we still friends? I mean, really, can you get. I'm like, come here, your face. Name one of Shidori. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Did you do something about Naruto? That is. Naruto. Yes, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too much. You went Naruto on me. <laughs> yeah, man. Did you just try to kill me right now? I feel like that move is not for someone that's your ally. Uh, that was a Sasuke move, of course. Now, if you would have your daughter on me. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, I don't like anime movies. I'm not. Not joking. I actually don't like them. Um, Can you believe this guy? There's only a few that I've even liked. So. He didn't even like Akira. <laughs> It was just that. Uh... But your name? Huh? Okay, your name was good. <laughs> yeah, but that was strictly anime, not out of real life. Yeah. I don't know. Just in they're, general. They're mediocre to me. So, <laughs> um, we got Ghost in the Shell here. The Quartz is, you know, starring Scarlett Johansson. Uh, we got um, we got some other actors in there. I'm going to pop that up here. You'll probably see it right about now. <laughs> but, um, so, collectively... We haven't seen both movies. A hundred percent. Right. Yeah. It's like it goes in order. It goes anime, movie. Real life movie. And, and both. both. And both. Yeah, equals both. <laughs> Even though I don't like anime movies. I Me and Don equal Derek. Ah, hey. That's why you could never be half a man out here. Um, <laughs> um, so, so as someone that's just seen the anime classic, what do you think about the classic? Was it... What everyone is like hyping it up to be. You know, I actually really enjoyed the anime classic. It wasn't, it didn't blow me away like some of the other animes that I've watched. Like, I, I've gotten hooked on anime recently, and like, so far, my big comparison full, is Full Metal Alchemist. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, in old school, the first anime I ever watched was Akira. So, when it comes down to basing it both off of those, it was good. It wasn't very, very memorable to me, but I did enjoy it. It was like the concepts were really cool, I enjoyed aspects of it. Um, it, it seemed very much like a gray world to me because it was like there was no mm. actual light and dark. It was more or less a gray, a gray world. Yeah, it was Fifty mm. Shades of yeah. Gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as someone who just saw the movie, right? Yeah. What are you thinking here? Um, I'm I'm kind of with him on that respective as far as uh, you know. I, I, I've seen a lot of adaptations from series to movie, um, but. Uh, this one, it, it, it's not really anything stand out. It's visually nice to look at. And the idea of the story was pretty cool. You know, futuristic, uh, humans to robots kind of thing. So I appreciated that. But I felt like it was lacking with a lot of maybe it, it was probably either the way that it was written or the, you know, character or whatever it was. But I, I it, it kind of felt like a cold world for sure mm -hmm. uh, where I didn't really feel for any of the characters even when you know big pivotal things were occurring I was just like all right that's it yeah you know I think that it was more like paying homage to the I guess like the origins of a lot of these different movies that we get so we got you know for instance I robot kind of comes from this yeah you know mm -hmm. we got uh, matrix kind of comes from this oh, totally. You know, it, it is a lot of, they had a lot of great concepts, mm -hmm. right? but the actual story was kind of lackluster, I would have to agree. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like, oh, all right, that could be cool. And, and you're coming from a person that's seen both sides of it, right? Right, so as both, well, I won't get into that. Um, I have a, I do have a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have an agenda. Um, but, you know, it, it just, I still have to, we have to pay homage, you know, and as far right. as an adaptation Movie, I thought it did spot on. It's as close as a live action would get to the anime. Because to me, it seemed like it was like scene for scene. Like we have, you know, scenes in the anime, they reenacted it in the live action. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these reboots or remakes of our childhood movies <laughs> don't do that. They try to recreate it because 
for some reason we must have been crazy because as kids we don't know what we like so <laughs> we gotta get something different i'm like yeah. what power rangers willy wonka and chocolate factory just to name a few yeah. um it, those don't need to be changed we know what we liked just enhance it that's what they did in this movie so i feel like if you liked the original anime movie, you will like this movie because it's going to just be live characters doing the same thing. Even the guy who played, uh, let's see, um, Pilo Asbeck? That sounds terrible. Man. Uh, Palau Asbeck? Pilou. Pilou Asbeck. Ah. Oh, I forgot his sounds character. French. Um, but the guy with the white hair with the binocular eyes. Right, the cable it, looking guy. Right. He, I thought, was a great adaptation in live action. And he made me think that they, with cable, because we've been talking about this, we yeah. don't know who could actually play cable. <laughs> there are some, you know, prospects, but we were, we're like, I don't know. Yeah. But I feel like with makeup, they probably could make anyone look like cable. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, now I'm like, well, I guess it don't matter. Right. They get anybody. <laughs> right. As I thought that he, he was a very good adaptation to the actual his personality, how he looks. I'm like, this is the anime, just live action. So I thought they did a good job as far as adapting the material. Hmm. Okay. Um. Now. So. Okay. Do you think this was like one of the top anime adaptations that we've gotten? Because we've gotten some shitty ones. <laughs> That's right, we have. You, 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 mean, you act like they tried to make a movie about Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Oh, man. <laughs> or The Last uh, Airbender. Uh, what? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it's actually kind of funny because I'm starting to see some trends in Hollywood, but um, this is one of them. So compared to what most people are saying, so would you say... The anime movies are taking place of the bad video game movies because it Whoa. seems like they're swapping here. Wow. Like the video game movies are getting better, anime ah. is just. It's a really good observation for sure. <laughs> it is. I don't like that you call that. <laughs> but it, 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 it's it's a really good comparison because it seems like that's the way we're going, and I hope that they are improving at this point. You know. Because, man, we came off of seeing some really bad stuff before, and I can't take any more of that. Man, I hate to agree with you. Because <laughs> my anime is just so, like, to my heart. I don't even want to put them in that category. That, and we usually don't agree on anything. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. um, You know what? That's a, that's a great point. You know, maybe. You know, but I, I wouldn't put it with the Last Airbender and... Uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, oh, really bad. That really was, bad. those are just terrible. They should have <laughs> never been made. No. This, I think, did exactly, it did it justice. The anime, to me, was a, a little slow. Mm -hmm. So was this. So, if you if you do like the anime, you will like this. It's not like they're gonna rename your characters to something that has nothing to do with the, the one that you loved on all day long. Like, <laughs> what? who is that? <laughs> You know? What's wrong, Ong? <laughs> it's produced by the same people that did the cartoon. So how can they get the name wrong? Oh, man. No kidding. What is going on? Because that's how you pronounce it in America. Because Ong, <laughs> Ong rhymes it wrong, and this movie was completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, the last Air Brenner was really bad. I don't think this is on par with that. I think that this is a step right. up. You know, they, it might not appeal to everyone. I think that what they should have did was kind of enhance it more and not do, like, frame-for-frame frame shots. Oh, sure. And I think maybe that's what kind of killed it. It didn't appeal to today's audience. I don't know. You guys let us know. Did this movie appeal to you if you ne if you didn't never see it, you know, back in the day? If you didn't see the original anime and you just saw this, you know, for the first time, did it really appeal to you? Because I feel like they should have maybe enhanced it a little bit, maybe enhanced some of the technology mm -hmm. or some of, you know, the themes, I guess. Yeah. kind of like relate to us today i don't know it just seemed like you know me coming from a person that didn't watch the an the original classic um when i was actually watching the movie the only thing i can compare it to was like something from the fifth element or um aeon flux or um there was another ultraviolet movie where it's a kick-ass chick in the future you know kind of thing um and and those movies stood out more than this one did as far as like action and story yeah, but like I said, it is the grandfather, you know, it is 
the uh, originator of all those type of concepts. That's true, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't fully functioned. It was just the first person who had an idea, and then everyone else stole it Step and in ran stones. with it. Stepping stones. <laughs> Retire. <laughs> um, or some things that you guys, or that, that you, mm-hmm. that you liked <laughs> about the movie. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I did like a um, uh, couple of the scenes that they did. It was just like... Uh, uh, very futuristic with the um, uh, transition into the real world environment. Um, like it, it, it looked very dope. Like I don't know, like the cityscapes, the really making this whole world. You know, we have so many future movies. This one kind of has its own um, um, origin, really. So I, I did like that. Just like the whole environment of the movie, it felt different from all these futuristic type movies within that field. What about you with the, the original um, one? The original anime, I like the art a lot. I like the uh, the anime itself. Like you can tell, it was like caught in the midst between the um, the new age anime and like Akira. Because if I go back to Akira style, it's very very light colored, almost watercolory. Whereas this one, you can start to see that they were actually doing a bit more animation, less static figures. Um, some of the scenes, I'm actually really curious to see the movie for its cinematography, the camera angles in the anime. Anime for some reason does a really really good job with 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 them. Um, uh, what's it called camera angles and I really want to see how they execute that in the film so there's things that I'm very curious about when it comes down to the film now so yeah, for the, I thought they did a good job of it there, there is one scene where um, in the beginning of the anime she jumps out of the window after killing the yeah. the go- governor or whoever yeah. and she does this and she disappears well they don't do that to the end you oh. know so <laughs> they do it but just not exactly when it happens in anime so they do do a lot of the same cinematography some of those shots you do get and which is why i say that it's like frame for frame it was like okay this yeah. happened all right let's set it up okay what happened there okay let's set it up <laughs> yeah. you know so it wasn't like they just like tried to reimagine the whole thing and i gotta appreciate that yeah because it hurts so so bad <laughs> when like movies like Batman vs Superman tried to recreate one of my favorite story arcs, and they 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 botch it. You know, yeah. like you it just have to talk hurts. About that again? Like, yeah, it's they, like they, Superman they, dope, Batman awesome, Superman vs Batman nasty crap. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got Power Rangers. It just hurt. Like it just hurts when they don't do justice to the thing that you love so much. Right. Well, like that was another trend that just to toss in there. It's another trend that I found that they're doing. So here's my question. You know, for you guys too. Do you find that either for the past couple of years when they've been doing reboots and reinitiations of series, that they were going so out of the box, now they're completely staying within that box range, you know, so is there going to be a middle coming up eventually where they kind of do a little bit of both? I think so. Uh, you know what, like a- after watching Beauty and the Beast, uh, and talk about a movie that went scene from scene, um, right. that, that's like dead on right there, um, but where they kind of mixed it up was... Uh, um, they incorporated like new songs and like different story that we hadn't seen before. So I, I kind of appreciated that. That that was like a perfect mixture from. Yeah, they did it a little better. Together. I think they did it perfectly. This one just kind of did it lazily. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I would call it a trend because they did it on like two different levels. You know, it, I I would kind of say I know it sounds bad, but I would say that Ghost in the Shell did it a little lazy. They were a little lazy. They didn't, they didn't put anything that was creative into it. it. You know, <laughs> but again, if you like the original, you will like this one. I don't want to say that it was just bad and you won't like it. It's just they didn't do anything different. And honestly, my last thing I want to say or ask, because I just felt like the acting just wasn't really, from Scarlett Johansson anyway, the acting just wasn't where I would want to have seen it. Mm-hmm. Did, you guys, did you feel the same way? Or... Um, yeah, and, and you know what? Like, um, I, I can't vouch for her in this movie because it, it, this movie was no. really difficult for me to watch, no. um, period. Uh, and I can't tell if it was her acting in this unique role uh, no. or if it was um, uh, written and she couldn't play the part. Because, I mean, her acting, it, 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 I just didn't feel for her. There was scenes where I, I think I should have felt like oh man that's pretty messed up look what they did to her and then uh, I just didn't feel that I was just like okay next scene um, and yeah. and then like the way that she I, I mean she was very good tactically moving like really being badass um, right. but then other points where she was like like standing weird like like is this a robot 
Like, do I stand like this? I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, what do you need from me? Like, why are you like that? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it was weird, you know, because she was like normal on most most scenes, and then there would be some time when she's standing, and it'd be like awkward. Right. What is that? Yeah. You know, so I don't know if she brought that to the character, or they said that's what you should be doing. I don't know. There was some dialogue that was real questionable. I need to see her in another movie because yeah. her acting is a little shaky right now. I need something else, not yeah. just another Avengers movie. Because uh, now I'm starting to think maybe they just got her in there because it's a pretty face. I, I think that, like, you know, what she's done in the Avengers, you know, I think that, you know, they played, like, she's very playful, but she's also a badass, you know. Um, and she definitely is more complex in the Avengers movie compared to this movie. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say more complex. Yeah, because she's coming from a, a broken origin where she's that's like something they brought wrote. To... We don't ever get to see that. Uh, so that's a little glimpse of it. Not a Civil War. Age, they Age, showed some Civil War. Age of War Ultron. Yeah. Where, where they draw them to, yeah. Um, they kind of show that. Um, so like they... it's so little. I feel like this is way more because she's actually like having dialogue with people and she has to show emotions and she has actual thoughts about like her conflict. I don't know. It wasn't she was she wasn't trying to always be. A badass, and right. that's like when you're a badass, you're just one way. Mm -hmm. Like you, you love Jackie Chan movies because can, can Jackie Chan act? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, he did not. I know. We'll resolve this. It's something that most people want, anyways. A Black Widow movie. Hey, you know. So what? I'm, you know what? I'm down know. for that. I think that will be the same thing. It'll I'm tell. Down tell them. I It'll... want something different. I wanted to play something different. I want to see her chops. I want to see Black Widow, uh, Hawkeye, kind of like an assassins, like Mr. and Mr. Smith in yeah. Budapest kind of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So last question. Do we want to see more anime movies like this? Or should I just leave it just to the animation? There's no need to actually do live action. You know, I think they're going to have to because they're going to have to continually get the responses. Unless they make them and fail at them, they're not going to be able to pr produce better ones later on. Like, I I'll say, like, they really screwed up with Dragon Ball and, mm. and uh, I forget, Airbender, and now they've got this one. But this one hit the, the, the mid-bar. Like, it was like, those two were, like, floor, and this one was like, hey, we're, we're level right now. Mm -hmm. I would not agree. And, you know, I heard from a lot of friends that were really, really into the original anime that they really, it was beautiful to see it live action for the first time mm -hmm. so definitely people hit nostalgia points but i feel like uh if they did a gray area with this one where it wasn't like oh my god and it wasn't like <clears throat> then i think eventually movies will start getting better but if you cast leonardo dicaprio for akira <laughs> i'm gonna elbow everyone in hollywood's face yeah seriously <laughs> um, I, I, I think that's another big i point heard that because so uh you know when you're translating a lot of these movies i think we've talked about that that yes they're kind of um you know, the anime itself, they're drawn with bigger eyes. Um, and then, you know, you don't expect to have an American actor play that same role. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, as long as it's, like, it suits that actor and, and you know, it's written well, I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I think that one of the other bigger anime movies was Attack on Titan. And from what I heard on the reviews, it wasn't that great, but other people liked it. Uh, that's, um, like, you can't even that can't count that one because it didn't it doesn't have a big budget like in the American and movie that's true. Would. Yeah, you know it was a very low budget movie. I did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to admit I did enjoy it mm -hmm. for what it was. I mean, it was more like camera tricks, and there right. was some you know CGI, but mostly like camera tricks. Those are they weren't giants; they were just regular people in diapers or you know in like super certain garb mm -hmm. they weren't like naked you know but i just i just still enjoyed it i don't know but i'm, I'm cool i want to see more movies but big, big with budget a big movies. budget yeah. and someone who actually cares about the genre because if you don't care about it and you're just doing something because you got a script yeah well i don't want to see that it's yeah. just gonna be a disappointment and, and why do you why do you want to put something out that's a failure right yeah. And I think I want to see like an anime, like you mentioned, like Akira. That that like when I'm when I watch Akira, it's very dramatic, yeah. you know. And there's a lot of emotion that's like running through a lot of these characters. Um, so I just want to see that translated across the screen for sure. I think the only way that they're going to be a success with it, it really depends on what anime is doing. So you know, this one. Um, and uh, Akira are, mm -hmm. let's say, they, they have Full Metal Alchemist coming out, but when you look at some of these animes, animes have been really built, been built for like a more adult crowd. 
-hmm. you know, um, and so they have to be able to be as morbid and and um, bloody as most of them are to really kind of touch on that like oh my god they did it factor yeah. Yeah. and um, I don't know. They're not all like, animes but I think if they did Akira they can't they can't go shady on it like they can't, I think Akira could be if, if you went PG on it yeah because yeah. yeah. if, if you went PG on it I'd be like I'm just not watching it right but I think for like <laughs> Dragon Ball like those kind of movies yeah, I Dragon mean Ball, like Power of Ball, Ball. Ball. Yeah. but really make it cool and impactful if you're gonna call it Dragon Ball then he needs to be a little boy like the Dragon Ball series yeah. Yeah. if he's gonna be an adult he needs to be Dragon Ball Z, Z. Uh, yeah. Dragon Ball White Boy Super. that just doesn't work yeah. I don't understand <laughs> but anyway I think they should do some more movies like this. Just don't give me lackluster attempts. Right. Yeah, no, you know, no. So don't be nice. I, I, I would go see something. I, I would want to see something that was more like newer. Mm -hmm. I think if you get something that's not as old, you get something that you know like your twenty and thirty year olds would know about. You might get more crowd. You give me something that came out in eighty six. Well, I don't know nothing about that. Right. You know. Yeah. So I will definitely say like a, a, a gnarly Gundam Wing movie would be freaking cool. More oh. big robots. And then tie them Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim, and then take <laughs> King Kong, and then take Cloverfield, oh, and then Godzilla. Much. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> All right, so if I had to rate it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a five, just because I didn't like the story, not because of the adaptation. Mm -hmm. It's just the story to me was just mediocre. Ah. So <laughs> that's what I'm giving a five. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if, I, if I if I have to rate this movie for sure, I'm gonna give it um, a three out of ten. I, I really didn't enjoy it. I was ready for the movie to be over halfway through it. And, um, yeah, I mean, if it relates to the anime movie, then I don't expect in watching that either. Um, I've only seen the anime, and I have to compare it to, you know, Full Metal Alchemist, which is definitely a 10. Um, Akira, which is also a 10. So this one, the anime itself, will probably get an 8 from me. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I did appreciate the anime for what it was. And, uh, That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's why we always disagree. <laughs> like ratings like that. Like that. We got tone peas and carrots. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well that's our review. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do you guys want to see more of these movies? Did they do a good job at this? Does this are we just not understanding what was dear to your heart? Let us know guys. I'm your boy DeAnthony. Adam. See Jack. And we're out, baby. Break room blitz. Peace. Blitz, 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 blitz.